Hey fam, say so you guys, I am coming to you today to talk to you a little bit about gift giving during the pandemic, um, especially with volunteering or giving away to homeless or uh, families in need. Uh, things are set up a little differently this year, so we can't go volunteer into a location or facility. So I came up with a new creative idea um, to give away to some people that may be less fortunate um, than myself and others and wanted to take you guys along on the ride but first let's stop for a little bit of coffee so we're gonna buy oh safety first you know how they say click it or ticket so let's go ahead and do that uh, sorry for all the extra Sun there so we're gonna stop and get us a coffee because we have a little adventure we're going on um, so you guys know this is so funny. I'm sorry. I always have my music loud. I, I'm usually jamming as I'm riding and r running and doing errands. So you guys are going to laugh because you know I usually um, don't do a lot of coffee. I'm a big tea person, but I usually treat myself like every month or so um, to get a coffee. So we're going to stop and grab me a little treat of coffee. I wish you were nearby so I could grab you one. Hold on for just a second. I think I'll have the caramel high rise with, I'm sorry, yes, the hot one. Okay. And I'm gonna do that with almond milk and decaf for me. Okay, what size? Um, a small. I can't drink a lot of coffee. You guys, it's really funny. I can, it probably takes me like two days, I have to refrigerate it, to drink um, a regular eight ounce coffee. I normally make my uh, little tea or coffee at home and when I do I do about probably four ounces and I still have some left in my cup so not such a big coffee drinker I love the smell of it I think and just a little taste the flavor really quickly but we're gonna grab a coffee and then we're off to our next stop surprise for you guys I'm not sure about you guys but I still mask up even at the drive-thru so I'm gonna mask up before I grab my coffee Thank you so much. Have a good day. Ugh. Okay, guys, we're off to our next stop. So this is what I was talking to you guys about. Sorry, my thing got a little hung in my um, earring there, my mask. So you guys, um, this is something I started doing um, probably a year or two ago. And it's really neat and easy to do. Um, and you could do it all year long, but this is something um, that I thought I could come on and tell you guys about for Christmas giving. So um, usually in Minnesota, it stays cold pretty long, you know, several months of cold weather. So um, what I generally do is grab some gift cards, some socks, um, some gloves or things like that. And I just keep it in the car because when you see someone that's homeless, needy, down on their luck, it's easy to have those things in your car and just hand them to them. Really simple and easy. So that's one of the gift giving um, ideas that I have for you for this year. Um, it's something simple, something easy. Of course, you guys know that you can contact your local churches, nonprofits, those places that service families if you wanna do like picking a name from a giving tree or anything. And this works for that as well. But anyway, our first stop is Mickey D's. We're gonna buy up a bunch of gift cards so that we can put in gift bags and just hand out to um, random people at the stoplights um, who are asking for help and things like that. So just something easy and simple to do and maybe just your way of giving. Okay, thank you. Okay, you guys, we got our gift cards. Woo! That was a bigger task than I thought. They had a new person at the register. So anyway, we have those. And you guys, one of the reasons, um, mm, hot coffee and a straw. Okay, so one of the reasons I do somewhere you can eat at, most of the time, when your basic needs aren't met, it's kind of difficult, um, like, food, clothing, shelter. So I try to do things that are thoughtful like that. So I know a lot of people that I see at stop lights or stop signs are generally wanting food or they're wanting money for food or things like that. So this sun is just so much here. So anyway, we have our McDonald gift cards first stop. 
So now we are going to head to our second stop and I'm gonna grab a couple things and to make it COVID safe for me and easy, I am actually going to do just a um, actual drive up, a curbside pickup and get our next item. So here we go, we're off. Okay, fam, we made it to our next stop. Time to mask up, I think they're coming. We're at Target getting our next pickup and I'm gonna show you guys how simple and easy it is to even make a gift in your car. You could do this all year long or just during the holidays for people that you wanna help out and do little drop-offs at the door, but I think they're coming here, so let me get my order together. Just one moment. Um, Yeah, I'll roll down the back window and you can put it right back there. Yeah. Thank you so very much, yeah. I appreciate it. You have a good one. You too, have a good Christmas. You too, Merry Christmas. Okay, you guys. Now it's safe to take this off. Okay. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick gift bag in the car. Simple and easy. Okay. So had to get out and get in the back and grab all the stuff that I got. So this is real simple and easy, you guys. You're going to laugh. Um, these are just some gloves I bought. These are really inexpensive, but they keep people warm. Socks. Everybody needs a pair of socks. Um... A little Christmas gift bag. Our little McDonald's gift card that will stick in the little envelope that they gave us. Write a cute little special note to them in there. So that is it. Um, real simple and easy. Hmm, maybe I'll give this away as a gift. I don't know what it is. Target just gave, I guess, me a gift for shopping there. Every now and again, they'll slip you something in your bag. Let's see. Maybe I can share it with someone else. Oh, that is super cute. Warm wishes, some cute cards, you know. Doesn't the Lord just smile on you and give you things like surprise you? This was so cute because I wanted to write a personal note and I forgot to order cards um, with my curbside pickup. So look at here. See how I was just blessed that, that quick and easy? Isn't that so special? That just worked out perfectly. So I'll be able to write a little note and give to them as well just to bless them. So let me show you how to pack this real quick. Simple and easy. Pop open your bag. That gift card. I'll put that in the bottom. Just roll up your socks. Throw those in. Put a pair of gloves in. And you guys, this is very valuable in Minnesota because it is really cold already. It's getting pretty chilly. Today is a warmer day, um, warmer by the standards of Minnesota. So see how simple and easy this is? And we can just hand this to people um, at a stoplight um, and bless them. And then we'll insert one of the cards that we just got um, from Target, a gift from them. And just hand this to someone to bless them. You so know, don't make gift giving, um, you know, so traumatizing and so hard and I can't do it. I have nothing to give. This was just something simple and thoughtful. And that's what really um, makes the difference, being thoughtful and just thinking about someone else. Um, even if you don't have a lot to give, this was something really small and inexpensive. And you could probably uh, give out five of these. Around. And, but anyway, thanks for sharing this with me, this quick little moment of gift giving and thinking of others. And I hope you can do the same this year. Um, I know COVID's hit a lot of people pretty hard, so hopefully you'll be able to give some gifts or tokens to someone that you don't know outside of your family, okay? Well, thanks for joining me, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.